Welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, if you haven't joined me before, my name is Espen and this channel is all about wildlife photography. Now, if this is the first video you've seen of mine, or maybe if you've just seen a few, this is the place to start. Because a little while ago, I asked my subscribers what their favorite vlog is of mine and what their favorite kind of tip video is. So, what follows now is going to be a top three of the vlogs that I made and the top three of the kind of tip videos that I've made. Uh, voted for by you guys by my subscribers So check out the clips and you can check out the full playlist below uh, For all the other videos that got um, that got voted for by my subscribers I want to say a massive. Thank you to all my subscribers everybody who's been following along and old and new subscribers and Really, thank you so much for commenting when I asked uh, which one was your favorite vlog uh, it really meant a lot and it was some really nice comments and feedback that I got there So thank you guys so much and really appreciate you guys and hope you enjoyed this little video And I'll be out with a new one on Sunday. So I'll see you then that it stays under so I'm gonna wait until it comes up again and when it moves it goes back under again I want to bolt for the car there it is okay go <laughs>
Number one is try and find the birds when you hear it singing. Whenever you, whenever you hear a bird song, try and actually find the bird and good idea to have a pair of binoculars with you. One of the things that I was taught in the beginning to remember that song was that um, listening out for this kind of rattle that it has. It has this like kind of Your front button here does focus and shutter and that's just a simplified thing to, to make it easy to take photos when you're starting out. But when you have been shooting for a while, maybe you've noticed as well, it does, it can create some problems and if you separate the two, the focus and the shutter, you can get more efficient and faster at certain things. And especially for wildlife photography, I find it is particularly useful. I would just focus manually and then I would take the image. Um, and you can do that when you've separated the shutter and the focus. Mm -hmm.